Yeah, I really like the the art of the tattoo. To be honest, uh, I'm not so much on the meaning. I'll, I have some meaning around my tattoos, but it's Japanese style, so it's more uh, yeah the design of it, the art of it that I really like. And um, it's funny in the beginning, I was not liking so much my dad's tattoo. I was laughing about it. I'm like, what? What is that? You're just painting all over. And then at uh, I think at 16 or 17, I started myself. And when you have the first one, it's really, really hard to stop. So I started to be passionate about it. Uh, and um, yeah, I have, I have like kind of some big one, but I haven't done so much. Like it just, it's it's pretty much been, a, I have two tattoos because I've done it straight away, you know, like the full harm. And um, my girlfriend is not so much up for it. So that's why I don't have the full body. I think she's uh, putting some brakes on me for that. <laughs> Yeah, I have only one actually um, that uh, I met a few years ago. Uh, yeah, two years ago with two of my friends. We did exactly the same one. Uh, we really wanted to do it since a long time. And uh, yeah, we just decided one day to go and do it. And I'm, yeah, I'm planning to make uh, another one on the home that uh, uh, I'm, uh, I'm going to do, I think, this summer. But yeah, for me, it's the opposite in the family. Uh, my dad has no tattoo. Yeah, actually, I, um, he have one. He have my logo on his arm because um, uh, I told him. Uh, yeah, we, we were with a friend at the barbecue, and I say, okay, if I win this, I think we are playing petang or something. Uh, you you both make the tattoo, uh, and my friend told my dad, ah, he's never gonna do it, and my dad did it straight away. So, but he's not really on the tattoo. When I came back home. It was two years ago, so I was 24, 25. I came back home with the tattoo and he wanted to kill me. So, uh, but yeah, yeah I, I, I like also the design of it, but I'm not crazy. Like I, I, I think I would never have the, uh, as much as uh, Arno is that have. I remember is that all yeah, the looking like a gangster in the paddock. <laughs> yeah, because now it's became really popular about tattoos and stuff like that. But at his age, when he started doing it, it was yeah. really, yeah, like the gangster that had it. So it was really kind of a, yeah, a bad, a bad guy when you had tattoos. And my, my grandparents were so mad about it because the first one he did it himself. Like he came back from school and took some anchor <laughs> and put it on his arm. So yeah, it was a bit crazy, but uh, yeah, now it became really popular and almost everybody has a tattoo, but uh, it was not like that in, at the time. I've done one time, yeah, with uh, uh, one day we went to uh, South Friend for the Blue Crew uh, uh, Yama stage with the kids and uh, I rode, uh, I think it was a 300, just a few laps for, for fun and uh, just to have the feeling, but um, I never rode like a 600 or 1000 on a, on a road race. Track. I, I would love it, I would love it. <laughs> I mean, uh, yeah, we have to organize it. I've been talking also at the Blue Crew with some Yamaha guys. And uh, I, I remember there was Charles Pages and some motocross guy and everyone was like, oh, we need to organize one day only a Yamaha racer. And we, we go, we, we just shift bike. But the problem is uh, road racer will look so stupid when we go on motocross again. <laughs> It's oh. it's easier to go from motocross to road race and road race to motocross because when I stopped when I moved to road race when I was ten years old I really stopped motocross for nearly seven years and seven years later uh, yeah since since a few years uh, I go like five six times a year on the motocross track and I'm just uh, I want to cry when I look how slow I am so we will look <laughs> stupid but it will be it would be cool i think to organize it also for yamaha don't, it would be funny don't worry we will look bad also on the road racing bike <laughs> oh well myself i know some guys are, are riding like adrian and i think precious brothers are also riding so myself yeah. i've never so i'll probably look really slow but it's okay we'll have fun Um, Bazooka is back 2009, I think. Uh, the, the guy at this time that was making my letter was a small Italian company. And um, always was, re that year was so bad in qualifying. 
But every time in the first lap, I came 10 or 15 places ahead of my, my my place on the grid, and I was always fighting for the top five in the race. And he, he say, oh, you start like a bazooka with the, the Italian accent. And I kept this a lot until two years ago or something like this, that I started to make such a bad start. Uh, and uh, so, yeah, it's what we've been talking all winter with my team. Uh, we, got, we we want uh, to have the bazooka back on the ladder. So we've, we've been working a lot on the start all winter because last year, I, I think, yeah, I've been missing a lot of... Uh, podiums i think in the end of the ra- end of the year just because of my start uh, in qatar i think i was starting fifth and i was uh, 15 on the first first corner so uh, yeah i hope i can uh, bring the bazooka back <laughs> <laughs>